We're here at the Internet and Politics Conference at Harvard's Berkman Center for Internet Society, and I'm here speaking to Matt Heinemann from uh, Arizona State University. Uh, thanks for stopping by. My pleasure. Thank you. Um, so I'm, there's a lot of hype going around about the, uh, the role of the Internet in the, in the election this year, and that it was uh, amazing and you know, nothing has ever been seen before quite like it. And I, I want to know if there's another side to that, if that's actually true, or maybe, it's, maybe it is true. Well, there's certainly aspects in which the Internet played a key role uh, in this election. Um, I think it's pretty clear that Barack Obama would not have been the Democratic nominee, um, but for uh, the Internet. Um, the Democratic race was already quite close, and uh, it's pretty clear that online resources, in terms of money, in terms of volunteers, uh, really put Obama over the top And what was already a very tight race. Um, I think most political scientists would say that we would, uh, we, would have, we would have expected Obama to win no matter how much money he'd raised online or no matter what his online effort had looked like uh, in, in 2008. Um, but uh, it's also clear that um, the internet clearly added to Obama's margin um, and it clearly shaped his campaign in profound ways. If he hadn't had access to the internet, if he'd run a, the same kind of internet strategy that we saw in 2004, uh, Obama would likely have won, but the campaign would have looked radically different. We might not have had the same margin of uh, victory. Is that what you're saying? I think I, I don't think certainly this certainly the margin of victory would likely have been smaller. Though it's, though it's hard to it's hard to know uh, in these kinds of ca counterfactuals. Um, but I think even the substance of the campaign would have looked uh, different. Uh, I think the camp uh, I think the uh, um, I think that uh, Obama really adapted well to uh, to the medium. Um, what, uh, so, so it was more than just the candidate, it was uh, the issues uh, were dictated by the internet. Yeah, I think that, and I think that you can see this, uh, the, the role of the internet in shaping the discourse on a few key issues. Um, take, for example, um, the health care plans of the candidates. Um, I think that, uh, I think that, but for the influence of uh, new online opinion outlets, um, Hillary Clinton would have offered a more, uh, a more conservative health plan. Um, I think that's certainly what Obama expected her to do, uh, at least initially, uh, and I think that uh, I, I think that uh, ultimately, um, you know, that you know that certainly shaped how Obama responded. Um, it, and I have a a, a, a kind of question about um, that was raised earlier today about whether this this kind of like uh, web democracy is, uh, if, if that's a phrase, um, is it really representative? Are we really, uh, you know, uh, these, these folks who are out there and trying to get these issues on the, uh, the agenda, are they truly representative? Is, is, uh, are we, is the internet playing an effective role or is it just a group of people who have some tools? Well, oftentimes we hear talk about the internet and democratization and talk about how the internet is democratizing politics. And to really, uh, to really answer those kinds of questions, we need to think hard about which democratic values are most important to us. If what we really want is, um, you know, Joe Sixpack to be an important voice in politics, the internet is probably not helping, actually. Um, but if what we want is accountability of elites, if we want really hard vetting of policy positions, um, the blogosphere uh, is better than, certainly better than the, uh, than the existing traditional media, uh, certainly on their own, and perhaps even uh, in its own right. What if we just want to make sure that everybody's voice is heard in that idealistic kind of way? Um, if what we're trying to ensure is that people's voices are considered e equally, um, the good news is that um, campaign finance, for long, for for a very long time, the most unequal form of participation, at least in this election, at least for the Obama campaign, and to a lesser extent to the with the McCain campaign, looks more equal than it ever has. Uh, so that is good news in terms of considering citizens' voices equally. Um, but in terms of ordinary citizens having access to the online public sphere, I'm quite skeptical about that. I think that the people who matter most in the online public sphere are mostly um, pointy-haired uh, you know, academics with Ivy League caliber degrees. Such as uh, the, the, the ones here at Harvard University. Exactly. <laughs> uh, just one last question. I mean, will that, will that change? Should it change? Uh, should the internet become a, a utility for everybody um, to be able to participate in society? I don't think so. Um, it's been a long time. I mean, the portion of the population that's online has been relatively stable for four or five, six years, depending on how you count. Um, 
this is not the first cycle that we've seen the internet play such a major role. Uh, and if we look at the online public sphere and actually look at the audience that these sites receive, we see quite stable patterns. And we see that in fact the online public sphere is actually quite concentrated on a few top sites. Uh, and I certainly don't expect that to change. If anything, in the lead up to the election we saw the online political sphere get more concent concentrated on top outlets, not less. And uh, should that change? Um, I think, it, I think we, again, we need to think hard about what kind of trade-offs we're willing to make. Um, if, you know, there certainly would be an advantage in having a more substantively uh, representative uh, blogosphere. Um, uh, having a public sphere that does a better job of re representing not just one gender, but both genders, right? That rep you know, that's, that's less uh, overwhelmingly white. Um, but at the same time, um, there are certainly are advantages uh, to having a blogosphere that is so focused on the thoughts, ideas of elites. It's a very mixed blessing. A very uh, scientific answer to a, to a general question, and I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thanks, Thanks Dan.